Hey everyone, this is Stephen Strawn at Cast Iron Cookwire, where you can find information to help you better collect, restore, and use cast iron cookwire. Today we're going to be explaining the sizing numbers on cast iron skillets, and we're going to be doing that coming right up. Before we get started, I just want to say thank you to everyone that has purchased my product, Easy Beasy Cast Iron Seasoning. It's a beeswax based seasoning for cast iron and it comes in a nice convenient stick and there's a lot of it. I made it a point to pack it just as tight as I could pack it. This is the 7 ounce version. We also have a 4.4 ounce version as well. And I just want to say thank you again for purchasing this product. It does really help keep this channel going. So let's get on into the video. One of the questions that I get all the time is, what do the numbers represent on the bottom of my cast iron skillet? This one right here is a number three. And just for the record, the heat ring from outside to outside is four and three quarters. So it doesn't represent three inches. And the skillet itself from rim to rim is six and a half inches. So the number three does not represent how many inches the skillet is across. You also take a bigger piece like this Birmingham Stove and Range number five. We can measure from across and we have five and almost three quarters. Inside to inside the heat ring we have five and a half. The skillet itself is seven and three quarters so the five does not represent the size of the skillet whatsoever. There is a reason for this. Now most of these cast iron cookware companies their main objective was not to sell cast iron cookware. Their main objective was to sell the stoves and the big ticket items. The cast iron skillets, Dutch ovens, and cookware were just icing on the cake. The old cast iron stoves were flat on the top, just solid cast iron. Well, I say solid. They had little rings cut out of them, and those were called stove eyes. Now, you would lift those stove eyes out with a stove eye lifter, you would set your cast iron cookware in a way that the heat ring would sit inside the stove eye, thus keeping the smoke from, from uh, coming out and keeping the heat right there on the bottom of your skillet instead of having to go through all the cast iron on the stove top to get to your cookware. So you had it on direct heat. There were not any real standardizations when it came to the stove eyes. Every company had a slightly different size. So if you bought a Birmingham stove and range cast iron stove and you bought Lodge or some other brand, the heat ring would not fit as well. It would not fit as tight. Maybe that was market strategy. Maybe it wasn't. I don't know. So when it comes to sizing, there is no real ironclad uh, standardized size. So number three Birmingham stove and range is basically the same size as a number three Griswold or Lodge, but there will be some variances. They won't all be exactly the same. And on top of that, we have these other types that were outer heat rings, the older pieces. Now this one right here is a number seven national. Right here. And we're going to measure outside to outside of the heat ring. We have eight and three quarters. So a number eight national outer heat ring skillet is going to have a heat ring that's almost as large as this number nine. Now the Birmingham Stove and Range Century Series pieces, they, they came up where they started actually putting the size of the skillet on there. Now this is a number three. From outside to outside, it is six and five eighths inch. So it being marked like that lets you know the outer size. And this is from the outside rim to rim, six and five eighths. It's not three inches. Now I got this great big Wagner right here. It's a Wagner Sydney O. But this is a number 10. But I venture to say it's a lot bigger than 10 inches across. It is almost 12 inches. It is 11 and 3 quarters in size. And the heat ring itself is going to be 10 and 1 quarter. So even though it says 10, it's a little larger. Kind of a rule of thumb will be two inches larger than the size on the skillet. With the exception of the three. The three is pretty much three inches over. 
but a five will be somewhere around seven, a six will be somewhere around eight, and so on. So I hope that you got something out of this. And if you have, please don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I promise I'll keep more of them coming. And I just want to say thank you again for watching Cast Iron Cookware. Before we go, I just want to share something with you really quickly. In Matthew chapter 7, verse 1 and 2, it says, Judge not that ye be not judged. For with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged. And with what measure ye met, it shall be measured unto you. I just want to say, share the word and be a blessing.